Monday night and we are making a drink. Some of you guys love when I drink, so we're gonna make another drink because I love and drinking too. Enablers, wow. <laughs> they enable me, they're like, I love when you drink and I'm like, okay, great. I'm gonna drink more. We're gonna make a little Moscow mule. I've showed you guys how to make this before, but it's just literally the easiest drink that you could ever make. I have these little like Moscow mule cups, Belvedere vodka. And I'm just putting some ice in there. Tyler went to Total Wine yesterday and we got so much good stuff. I will show you guys. We got, well, he actually doesn't like this, but this is, who is it? Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Not his, but he bought out the brand. It's like an 80 year old gin brand. Oh, but well now he owns it. So we bought this. Tyler apparently doesn't really like it. Favorite tequila ever. If you're looking for a good, cheaper, but still not like Jose Cuervo level tequila, go for Altos, it's really good. And you can actually like take shots of it and not be like, like what a throw up. Open the Tito's liking using this little shot thing you literally just hold it and pour it so it's easy oh so we're gonna do two of those because i like my drinks a little bit stiff oh. what her nickname used to be two shot tea yeah in college my nickname was two shot tea because i literally could only take two shots and then i would be done for the night not like, okay, I can't drink anymore, guys. Like, hammered. Like, done. Now, I am like 200 shot tea. What did I do to Like, you? I drink, I drink, and literally it does not affect me. I'm just like, hmm. That was, that tasted good. Now we're doing some lime. Just gonna squeeze that in there. Just mix it up. I'm gonna pour half of the Seagram's ginger ale. It's literally so easy. Three ingredients. Tyler taught me everything I know when it comes to making cocktails. Even though this one's super easy. You can garnish with a lime, but since I want to use my other lime for the other half of my drink, I am just going to leave it as is. Ice in there so it doesn't melt. There you go. Cheers. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. You can barely, oh, never mind. I was gonna say you can barely taste it, but then I got like the second sip. It was there. It's good. Yeah, really good. Is it better than the, what was the other one that we used? Well, the. Goslings. Goslings is the best. Goslings is like, Seagram's is not bad. That one was pretty good. So, I wanted to show you guys update on the puzzle that we were doing the last vlog. <laughs> Um, I definitely do not. So I have hit like a plateau with this puzzle where I like don't even want to like look at it because it just <laughs> angers me. It's so frustrating. It's supposed to be relaxing. I know, but it's like it's everything like, looks the same. You just unplug and, and yeah, it is, it is. I don't know. It is a little bit too difficult. Maybe it's just like my, I don't know, maybe my personality type, it. but we've literally like got nothing. We've gotten like this piece we've gotten some like, two or three like connections so like this this like a couple like connections here and there everything else is just kind of like a mess Can you show but... them, like what the puzzle pieces look like like look in that box no yeah they i showed them they the literally same. all look the same like there's no like distinguishing factor like usually it's like oh this is like the house like all right it's gonna go over here literally every single Thing looks the same so I have not touched this since like three nights ago and I don't plan on <laughs> touching it for at least another day or two so, that is that ended up getting a new phone got the new iPhone what is this one um, iPhone 11 Pro Max I got the midnight green color I still have like the plastic and stuff on it because I just ordered a tempered glass and two phone cases from Amazon so that I don't crack it. I really like it so far. I love the green. I just figured I would go with something different and new. I wasn't planning on getting a new phone, but my old phone was just like messing up the home screen. We went hiking on like a trail this past weekend and I was really sweaty and I just had my phone like 
in my leggings like you know when you just put your phone like in your leggings on your side so you can walk and not hold it i think i did that and like all of the sweat got on it and it was like two and a half years old like you know how iphones go after that amount of time they just like go kaput my home screen stopped working and i was just like you know what i can't do this i'm just gonna get a new phone i was going to get one anyways so why not so it's the next day putting on some chapstick and just getting off of another work call got an amazon package so i was telling you guys the other day that i got a new iphone and i ordered some just like some new cases for my phone and i've just been kind of bumming it with the plastic that the phone comes with just because i don't want to scratch my phone got some tempered glass screen protectors i think these are like absolutely vital so that you don't like crack your screen and if you ever drop your phone you literally crack this instead of cracking your screen so this has saved me so many times and i always have one of these on my phone it's just like an absolute must for me then i got two cases here's the first case i got just like a black crocodile leather I think that's cute and super chic and then the next one i got is more in line with the actual phone color i will have everything that i am talking about linked down below in case you guys want a new phone case this one is just like green just like the phone which is cool so i don't know I feel like that's cute but then kind of covers like the whole point of having a green phone right so I guess we'll try and see. That's cute. I like that. So I guess first things first is let's put this tempered glass on. Okay, that was a little bit of a fight, but finally got the case on with the tempered glass and got all the air bubbles out, which is I feel like most annoying part is getting all the air bubbles and making sure that it's on there perfectly but i think i did pretty good no air bubbles super clear cool i don't know which do you guys think do you like the black one or the clear one where you can actually see the green let me know down below i don't know which one i'm gonna go with maybe this one for now but i may end up switching to this i don't know okay we are going to head out to the store i have some plotting to do it's tyler's birthday in exactly one week so i need to go to the store get some things I ordered his present yesterday and so i need to go pick it up plot a little bit while i have like an hour break from work so i literally have like an hour to do everything that i need to do and then friday i'm taking off so i can do some more things so we're gonna head out to the store and go plot them. all right secured the bag or more like secured the box. It's a huge ass box, I can't even show you. But here it is. I'm just gonna open it and make sure that everything looks good. Ooh, that's nice. It's a huge pan. So I got him in, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I got him in all clad pan. It's the, I forgot the exact, Name. I'll have it down below for you guys if you are looking for like a really nice high quality pin. He really wanted this. He's been wanting it for like, not like something, it's not something that he's been wanting, but it's something that he mentioned when we went to Sur La Table. They were having a sale and he was like, oh, I wanna go check it out and see if the all clad pins are on sale and they were but they're so expensive that really like 10 percent off is not gonna do anything like it's really not that much of a sale but i ended up finding the exact one he wanted um at bed bath and beyond for i think like 200 dollars. not exactly 200 i think it was like 150 i got like a little coupon and i got like a really I got a really good deal on it. Hopefully he likes it. I'm pretty sure it's the exact one he wanted because when he was mentioning it, I went and like Googled it and then took photos. Like 150 and at Sur La Table, it was like 250. So 
really good deal make sure you always shop around find the best deals and find a coupon and save your money because your money matters and you should spend it wisely so i am gonna go to home goods you know what's new like why not let's just go to home goods we're already out might as well take a little trip take a little trip and go see what we can find all right i am in home goods i have already scored two books literally this travel home and guys literally look at what i found a chanel book look at the binding so good neutral 20. i had to do that just so you guys could see this reaction and then this one is like nice and neutral good for like stacking both twenty dollars such a good deal um and i'm super excited about that now i am in the pillow aisle oh yeah okay. now i'm in the pillow aisle just checking it out trying to see if i can find more venetia home pillows because those are the ones that are like amazing they're so good so just looking and seeing what I can find, but so far I've scored. The one day that I choose not to get a cart is the day that I like find stuff. I feel like I'm gonna have to get like a cart or something. But I like the border of this, it's really cute. The only thing is, they're not really choppable, so. You guys know you gotta get the choppable pillows otherwise they just don't look as good i find so too bad because those are really cute i for some reason am really uh, like drawn and attracted to these pillows also they're choppable i don't know if i can like commit to the pattern but i think they look really cute in that chair hmm. only 20 bucks each it's not that bad I don't know. So we're gonna pass. I've kind of deterred from the path. Normally I have like a specific path that I always go through home goods in. I like go a specific way every single time. And this time I for some reason have like gone the opposite way. Like I normally go one way and now I'm going like the reverse way, which is like throwing me off. So I feel like I have to go back and start from the beginning. So we're going back to the beginning and starting the usual way because I got too excited. Uh, I came to the mirror aisle and of course, my infamous pantry doors that I want in my house are still here. I feel like this is a sign. Like, are they still on sale? It's, these are like the Karen, Karen artwork, Karen Isle, as Arvin Alano would say. Love him. If you guys don't watch him, you need to. They're still 80 bucks. Yeah. Tyler would be like, please go return those immediately. So we're just going to walk away. Guys, I'm back in the pillow aisle and I found a jackpot literally look at this Venetia home you guys know this is the shit this brand is so good literally found the exact same pillow but in white this time that is so good you guys may be wondering why is this girl always at home goods why is she always like buying stuff like literally guys i am stocking up for my future house i am saving for the things that i know is gonna look so good and this pillow is it so we're gonna have to get that one i don't know how i missed that pillow but i'm so glad i came back see this is why i always make like two trips around aisles that i really like want to find something in because most of the time you will literally just pass by something and not even realize that like it's there you really just have to give everything like a second look and see if you can find anything so that's why i always go twice and really like take my time and look so that was a good find guys jackpot again look at this venetia home they literally have like a lumbar version. Oh, that's so good. And they literally have like 10 of them. Nice, comfy, 
good price, $35. Ugh. That brand is like my favorite right now. I found more of the white pillows, guys. This is where they are, right here. The same exact pillow I just picked up. And they have the lumbar and big version in pink if you're more of like a pink or color vibe. I'm more of a neutral vibe, so I'm gonna stick to this. But they have more of the white. So good. Oh my god, do I get two? Oh my god, guys, I am having like an internal dilemma right now. This is bad. This is really bad. I just know Tyler is gonna yell at me once I get home and bring all these pillows. I feel like you have to get two. You know what I mean? Can I convince him? I don't know, guys. <sighs> this is hard. This is really hard. Oh my god. I'm having like a midlife crisis right now. I need to like calm down. All right, just got back home. I hid Tyler's gift in my suitcase and locked it so he does not try to peek at all. Literally has a whole week before he can open it, which I'm even kind of anxious. I wanna show you guys what I picked up. I didn't end up getting the pillows. So if you see, I have the like beige version of the pillows, the Venetia Home pillows. So again, the white ones, I almost got them, but I didn't. I just decided that, you know, you know, like a girl doesn't need them. So I stopped myself, didn't get them, but I did get these two books. So the Travel Home, which is nice, gives like a nice neutral, vibe on the side and then the chanel book which of course is just nice and neutral so both of these were 20 bucks such a good deal for really nice coffee table books so i'm super excited about these there was actually two of them and i told another girl she was looking at the book section i'm like there's one more chanel in there if you want it she's like oh my god where and i showed it to her and she was like oh my god i could hug you right now but i won't and we literally just like elbow padded it was so funny so she got the Chanel and I got the other ones. I have a little bit of work to finish up. I was out for like two hours. So there is some work that I do need to get done. Oh, I didn't show you guys my standing desk situation. So I actually posted about it on Instagram. If you don't follow me on there, I literally post like really funny, like just like once in a while stuff. So follow me there if you want to see like daily updates or anything like that so this is my little standing desk situation literally amazon boxes and my ring light that i use obviously for filming but during the week for work i use it for like zoom calls so i look more like airbrushed i recommend if you guys have to be on zoom literally i don't know what it is about the quality it just is not flattering and you i just feel like you need like some type of artificial light to look better so i just always turn on my ring light and i just look like that much more like airbrush it's just a little life hack for you guys I am drinking some wine, watching some vlogs, enjoying my night as Tyler is downstairs working out. I'm here eating popcorn. <laughs> and I wanted to share with you guys literally the best popcorn ever. I discovered this at Target and I'm literally almost done with it. Sorry, my knee's in the way. Boom Chicka Pop Cheddar Cheese Popcorn. Oh my God, this is so addicting. This is the most addicting popcorn I have ever tried i literally got it two days ago and i'm almost done so so good i just had to come on here and say that so i'm gonna go back to my wine but go try that popcorn it is about that time today is the day we are cleaning out my car this is very sad um but they're coming to pick up my car take it away i don't know if i've talked about this before but i've had this car for seven years since i was 17 now i'm 24 so really long time my mom initially got this for me as like a valentine's day slash birthday present since my birthday's in april we got it a little bit early 
and this was like right around the time I was turning 17. I'd got my license, so we needed a car. And this was like mine and her car because she doesn't drive. So it was like a really big deal for me to get my license and we could finally have a car and I could take her to like the grocery store and we could just like do basic errands that you need to do to get a car. So this car was like a really big deal for us. I would take her to the grocery store, I would take her to work, I could go to school. This was like a big deal. I'll actually insert the photo I took and I posted on Instagram when I first got this car and it's just super crazy to think about that. Now it's gonna be gone. It's been a really good long ride. It's just time to get rid of it, upgrade. It's an older car, it's 2002 Dodge Neon and it's just time for it to go. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. At the point that it is now, it's just not worth it to sink in a lot of money into the car knowing that it's really old. It's not really like, like if it was newer, I probably would spend the money to get like the things that it needs to get done fixed. I'm eventually going to get a new car. Just really no point for me to get a car tomorrow or even like in a couple weeks just because we're still, you know, staying at home. I'm working from home. There's really no point for me to get a car and have it sit in the driveway and make payments when I'm not really going anywhere. So when the time comes, when I feel like I'm, I have, I found a right deal, I'm getting a good rate, all of the things, when all of the stars basically align closer to going back to work, that is when I will get a car. So I feel good about letting go of this car. It's just really bittersweet because it's my first and only car that I've ever had and my next car is gonna be something that I'm gonna buy myself and it's gonna be like a really big defining moment like it's gonna be my first big girl purchase and crazy that life is just like you know moving along so have some things to clean up not too much I have so many of these like bag clips from when I used to work at Target fun fact if you didn't know this about me I used to work at Target in college in the summer I did I worked there for like a month or so I think like about a month or two, stocking shelves in the middle of the night. So I would work SeaWorld 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And then I would go home for a couple hours and work Target 12 a.m. to 7 a.m. So I did that for like a whole summer. I was busting ass, guys. Busting ass. Gotta work hard for that money. I don't know, I guess I could leave this in here. This is how old my car is, guys. I have one of these. My car doesn't have like an aux cord or anything, so I have to plug this in and this basically connects to the radio and then you plug it into this and then you can plug in your phone and do aux. We're living in the olden times. Oh, also, the passenger side door doesn't work or open. I don't know if I mentioned that. So anytime I would drive with someone, they would either have to sit in the back or hop in through the window. It was like, this car is the definition of like a hoopty. But I loved it. Like, this is crazy. I'm not gonna have this car anymore. It almost hasn't hit me. This is really weird. This is very, very weird. Wow. <laughs> okay, there it is. Signing my life away. Okay, I should probably Google where I sign so I don't mess this up. official all right we're starting him up one last time so that we can move him to the road so i could take a photo with him let's hear him purr okay. start him up one last time <laughs> one final <laughs> one final drive in my car Shaking everywhere. So, car's gone. I sold it. It was very sad. I definitely shed a few tears crazy thinking about like all of the memories and all of the years that I've had it all of the things that I've done everything I've had this car for my whole adult life and a lot of my later teen years it was just kind of like saying goodbye to that chapter which is like crazy like I said it's just kind of crazy to think about how life just 
keeps going and it rolls along and yeah. I am going to finish work for the rest of the day. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I feel like I ended it on like a very sad note, but please don't be sad. This is a very exciting moment. It's sad to say goodbye, but it's very exciting. I'm gonna get a new car soon. It just means I'm leveling up and growing and just, you know, moving on in life. That is what life is about. It's about growing up and moving on and doing the damn thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe down below if you're not already and I'll see you guys later.